Really stunning news today about the number of rape cases police have never even tried to solve, not even opening the rape kits. In fact, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of them. Here's Sharon Alfonsi. It was supposed to be a celebration, but the night of her 21st birthday, Valerie Newman was raped. In the hours that followed, she agreed to allow technicians to collect evidence for a so-called rape kit. She um, asked me to take off all my clothes and she like does a physical exam looking all over, taking more pictures, swabbing, pulling more hairs. It's humiliating. It's embarrassing. An intrusive six hour long process Newman hoped might help police find her attacker. But today it's been three years, five months and four days since I was raped. And that kit was put aside, never processed. In cities across the country, an estimated half million rape kits sit on police department shelves, never opened, never tested. Some have been there for years. Evidence that could identify an attacker or exonerate a suspect simply set aside. In Detroit alone, they found 12,000 old rape kits discovered sitting on shelves unopened and untested in a now closed Detroit crime lab. This was quite devastating because uh, no prosecutor wants to hear that we have 12,000 plus victims out there whose rape kits are just now sitting on a shelf. This is not a backlog. This is worse than a backlog because a backlog presumes that you're working on it. And now some cases may be too old to prosecute under the statute of limitations, adding to victims' frustrations. Is it true that some women have to pay for their rape kits? Yeah. In some states, women are billed thousands of dollars to have the evidence for a rape kit collected. I've never heard of you having to pay for the fingerprints or any of the testing they do in a crime scene. But you might have to pay for a rape kit when your body is the crime scene. And perhaps most telling, Valerie Newman says if she was raped again, she would not go through the process of collecting evidence. She says she has lost faith in the system. And this is one of those rape kits. It is 15 steps. No. This takes six hours. And there's a half million of these just sitting on shelves in police stations across America. And in some cases, the statute of limitations has passed. That's right. And they may get a match, but they may not be able to do anything with it. Now to a story our investigative team broke last fall. Rapists all across the country are getting away with their crime because tens of thousands of rape kits are never tested. The issue reached Capitol Hill today, and as our chief investigative correspondent, Armika Tayan, tells us, the outrage was loud and clear. The star of today's hearing turned out to be the central figure in our rape kit investigation, Valerie Newman. I remember telling him over and over again, no, no. Newman testified how her 21st birthday ended in rape. One nightmare followed by another. What was perhaps the hardest is that my case was closed without my rape kit being tested. The reason, a judgment call by this local prosecutor involving cost and the fact that alcohol was involved reasons that only serve to inflame the subcommittee, particularly New York Congressman Anthony Weiner, who raked the prosecutor in the case over the coals. If he doesn't think he can win the case with a witness and a rape kit, then I don't know how you make yourself a prosecutor. The congressman was so irate, he made this remarkable offer. If it's for want of a thousand bucks, I think among my colleagues here on this panel will raise the money. As an example, look at the recent CBS News report. It was back in November that CBS News first shined a light on the staggering number, more than 20,000 untested rape kits nationwide, never sent to crime labs, plus another 6,000 in crime labs waiting months, even years, to be tested. When we have talked to victims, they're incredibly disillusioned with the criminal justice system. Actress Mariska Hargitay, who plays a sex crimes detective on television's Law & Order SVU, also testified, offering emotional evidence of how in real life so many rape victims have reached out to her for help. I'm sorry. I remember my breath going out of me for the very first time when the first letter came, and I've gotten thousands like it since. Turning Hargitay into an advocate for breaking the backlog in untested kits. They must be tested. We, we are letting, we are consciously letting criminals walk again. But maybe not so fast. CBS News has learned the Justice Department recently called together a group of experts from across the country to better deal with this problem. Katie. Armin Katane, Armin, thank you so much.